Hey Climbers, it's Ryan Mullen here and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about writer's block, what it is and how to overcome it, especially as a neurodivergent songwriter. I realised that in my last video, my songwriting processes video, I didn't actually talk much about writer's block, so I thought I'd take the time to provide a separate video just on writer's block and how to overcome it because it's a hugely important factor for any songwriter, whether you're disabled or not. In short, writer's block is basically that period during the songwriting process where nothing really comes to you. This can happen at the beginning, the middle or the end of the songwriting process. And during this period, you might not be able to find the right lyrics or you might not be able to find the right melodies or chord progressions and so on and so on. And if you do find something, you're not happy with it. Then you start to overthink things. Then you start to get emotional and angry at your own creativity. Well, how do we actually overcome this? Well, let's find out in just a sec. But before we do get into my tips, I just have one small disclaimer as I always do. These are not the only tips for overcoming writer's block. Some neurotypical or even disabled songwriters may not even use my tips, but these tips are what helps me when I'm experiencing writer's block. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I actually have 15 tips for you, and the first tip is take your time. Songwriting is nowhere near as easy as what my last video makes out. A song can take hours, days, weeks, months, however long it takes time. It's very easy, even for me, to get stuck for days on finding the right words to rhyme or finding the right melodies that fit with my chords and the topics of my song. Just because my last video was half an hour long doesn't mean that it takes half an hour to write a song. At the end of the day, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither should your songs. Tip number two, take regular breaks away from songwriting. You can do this by seeing friends or family, or going to the theatre, or going for a walk, or whatever it is that calms you down, something you enjoy doing. I personally find that if you spend your breaks just sitting around doing not a lot, then you start to think things through, and when you overthink things, this is what I was saying about with the anger. So, fill your time wisely when you take these breaks, it's very, very important. Tip number three, listen to more music. Listen to music you love and research why their music works. So I'm gonna take one of my favorite artists, for example. I'm just gonna take Ed Sheeran, okay? Using this example, when I listen to Ed Sheeran, I think about his chord progressions, I think about his drumming patterns, his picking patterns, the way he connects words in verses. It doesn't matter who your favourite artist is, think about why their music works and why it is so successful. This does include looking at it in a bit more detail though. Tip number four, this does actually coincide with tip three but it is really tip four. Using the knowledge that you've learned from tip three, apply it to your own songwriting, to your own guitar playing, to your own singing, whatever it is. Whatever you've researched from your favourite artists, apply it to your own music. But don't use this as an excuse to basically copy these artists. You want to be your own artist, so you need to be unique. You can take inspiration from these artists, but you can't copy them. Tip number five, record everything. It could be genius or gibberish. Record everything you find. This covers melodies, strumming patterns, chords, lyrics, whatever. Record the lot on your phone. And don't forget guys, writer's block can actually come from having a lot of great ideas but being unsure which ones are the best ones to use. So document everything and then choose a couple of those ideas in time once you've decided 
what the best ideas are for you. Tip number six, free your mind of everything else that's going on in your life and just be in the moment. It may help to write all your songs in a specific room or environment that won't distract you. Tip number seven, write down how you feel. Not even in the form of a song, but just write down your emotions in whichever way you like. Always stay in touch with your emotions and then once you've written them down, then you can use those emotions to form a more creative song. Tip number eight, consider it as if you're writing a story. Your song has a beginning, a middle and an end. Tip number nine, for authenticity, for relatability and even for intimacy, use your own experiences in life to write your song. Don't copy somebody else's story. Use your own life to inspire your music. Tip number 10. Listen to a range of genres of music. This could be anything you like, from pop to rock, hip hop, soul, or even classical. And if you want, if you wanted to be really creative, you could actually combine and fuse some genres in your music. A great example of this is one of my favorite bands, Linkin Park. At their heart, Linkin Park are a hard rock band, new metal but they include hip hop, they include acoustic music, they fuse a lot of different modern styles of music into one, so do Papa Roach, and so do some other amazing, amazing bands. Tip number 11, you could find a copyright free backing track and write melodies and lyrics around that backing track. And don't forget, if it's copyright free, you can use that backing track as the backing track for your song if you really want to. It's a bit lazy in my opinion, but it's legal and it works. The same thing with sample banks. You could use a copyright free sample bank like Splice for example. It costs a little bit of money, but you can find some extremely high quality samples. Plug them into your software if you're a producer and then you can write melodies and lyrics around those copyright free samples. That's another great way that you can go about it. Tip number 12, don't force it and don't stick to deadlines. Because if you do those things, you could put pressure and stress on yourself to deliver a high quality song in a specific amount of time. And if you rush it, you could end up with a lower quality song. And this most definitely does not help writer's block because that pressure, that stress can cause you to overthink it. Let the song come to you. And also expect your best ideas to come when you don't expect them to. This could be at work, at school, in bed, whatever. Even for me, my best creative ideas often come at times when I can't record them. So I just jot a little note down on my phone. And then the next time I go to write a song, that idea refreshes my memory. Tip number 13. You could actually write a song from somebody else's point of view, from somebody else's perspective. You could experiment between writing in first or third person like a story. You could write your song as if you're writing a letter to somebody. My idol in music is Eminem and Eminem's song Stan is an amazing example of this. Especially that last point about writing a song as if you're writing a letter. Tip number 14. Write a song tailored to your audience. Think of it like a business and you are the businessman. Don't write songs that your audience think they want to hear. Write a song that you think your audience need to hear. Don't write songs as options for your audience. Write them as necessities for your audience. Supply on demand. And my final tip, tip number 15, this tip is more for neurodivergent songwriters, if I'm honest, but anyone can use this final tip. Use stress balls or fidget toys or whatever it is to calm yourself down and regulate your body. And that is it, my 15 tips for overcoming writer's block. 
And that's it for this video guys. If you liked it and you found it informative, then please give it a like, a comment and share it with your friends and family. While you're there, please subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell down there so that you don't miss a single video. Please also follow me on my social media and please check out my website. The links to all of that are in the description below. And if you want to see more of my online content, such as my music, for example, then please also consider checking that out. The links are once again in the description below. And if you're a creative climber like me, then please send me your work. I would love to see and hear it. And if this is your first time here on my channel, then welcome. I'm really, really glad you're here. And I hope you come back to my channel very, very soon. And finally, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next Wednesday for a brand new one. Keep climbing high guys. I've been Ryan Mullen from Creative Climbers. Ciao for now. Peace and love.